What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be having a look at our best shortcuts for your iOS device. So I'm going to go through a list of most used shortcuts that I've been using for the last couple of months. I won't go really in depth into every one of these shortcuts, but I'll give you a quick little preview so you get the idea. First of all is battery charge time and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It gives you a rough estimated time on how long your battery will take to charge and it's quite handy. So next up we've got Mav Export and now this is one of my favourite shortcuts because it allows you to export TikTok videos without the watermark. And um, when you're scrolling through TikTok, click the share button and scroll down to more and then go ahead and click Mav Export. This will export the video straight to your camera roll and you'll have no watermark. So the next one is Zip and Email. It's a great useful little shortcut which will allow you to select files in your files application. Go ahead and then create them into a zip file and then you can share this zip file through email. So another useful shortcut is Clipboard Tool. Now this allows you to manage your clipboard straight from your home screen. You do have a couple of options to do a couple of things. You can go ahead and share your clipboard, you can edit it, clear the clipboard and much, much more. It's a very useful tool to access from your home screen. Uh, I use it quite a lot on my iPad mostly and it really comes in handy quite a lot. So the next one on the list is Alarms. Now this is a great shortcut which allows you to create an alarm straight from anywhere. So something I like about this shortcut is that you can create an alarm without having to go into the clock app and doing a whole bunch of other stuff as well. It's super easy to use, it's got a great user interface and we're really impressed with it. Something else to note is that this shortcut also allows you to set an alarm at sunrise for wherever you are in the world. So I would like to see this next shortcut built into the Apple ecosystem. It's called Scan QR in Picture. It does exactly what it says on the tin. You can go ahead and scan a QR code from your photos library and then you do have a few options after. You can open it in Safari, call it if it's a number or edit it to your clipboard. Last but not least, we've got AirDrop Photos. Now this is a great tool personally as I'm always AirDropping photos from my iOS device to my computer and vice versa. Once you've run the shortcut and you've selected your photos, you do have the option to airdrop the photo or share them to any other application as well. So that's about it for this video guys. If you did stay till the end, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and leave a comment in the comment section on your favourite shortcuts. We would love to hear what shortcuts you guys have been using.